Hi, Aaron. How's it Hello. going? Hello. It's going well. How are you doing? Oh, great. I'm so I'm so happy to speak with you about the show. It's so I'm still thinking about it. I still have ideas and theories and things like that. Um, Amazing. I wanted, I wanted to start off to ask you, I mean, and also stop me if you've heard this one before, but did you have a background, a knowledge of the Smiths? That line, the um, the sort of the, the epitaph, the suicide note, maybe. It's such an interesting line. And then you get to sing the song a bit later on. Was this, yeah. was this music that you grew up with? Yeah, I mean, I definitely had my Smiths moment and I still do. I think there's something poetic about their music and their lyrics that I I personally find unavoidable. I just, there are some days when I just need to sing those songs and think about those themes. And I think sometimes there's nothing better than doing it through the Smiths. I, I really, I I love their music. Yeah. I hear that Alice had you in mind at a very, very early stage for this role, or maybe I should say roles. And I'm always thinking about sort of how does it tie in with you? You've talked about, you know, that acting for you is like taking on different personas, reinventing yourself quite like your character or, you know, characters do. But then I'm thinking even more, you know, the idea of Becky Green, that you would um, grow up in West Green, who, which oh, the color is actually blue, which uh, was surprising to me. But, yeah, you know, how much do you feel like you sort of were sort of born to play this role? I mean, wow, that's such a ginormous question. Um, I don't know. I, I love, I, I think I, I really do like the idea of fate and things colliding into your life as and when they're supposed to. But also I think, I don't know, maybe early on being an actor, I had to also accept some things don't go your way, whether you like try your hardest, like you, you have no control in that sense. So I've also learned to just take it when you get it. And so I think I've never kind of gone, I am supposed to do this role. I'm also, I'm always just grateful to do any role because I'm, I'm so aware that to be a working actor is rare. And I'm just, like I say, every day, I'm stunned that I get to do what I love for a living. So I don't know, I've never really gone, oh, I'm supposed to play this, but I will always, always find the reasons why I could bring something to it or like what, what is what can I give to this because any actor who gets their hands on a role will do something different with it whether they're aware of it or not just by being who they are so I think there is something special about getting a role and going okay cool what do I get to do with this you have many great interactions on the show one I wanted to single out is your work with Jack with Jack Farthing your scenes are yes. so powerfully charged and interesting what was it like to work with him? He was amazing. I would work with him every day for the rest of my life. He was so good. I, yeah, I just, I can't stop. I can't say anything bad about him. He was so playful, but also he has, he does so much prep. You can feel it. And he is never the same twice in any, I think we spent a whole day just doing one of those scenes. I think when I come in to try and get some information out of him with the diary, and he never, he never did the same thing twice. And that as an actor, when you, when you get kind of like get onto the playing field, as it were with an actor like that, you get better because you're constantly listening to what they're doing and you're throwing different things at them. It's like tennis, I suppose. And you're, you can only get better by playing really good players. And he is one of the best. I just wanted to say that. I watched all the episodes. I know people in the UK had only seen one at the time of doing this, and I'm still thinking it over. I still have so many ideas, theories. I really enjoyed the ending. And yeah. I'm just, I'm so interested in, you know, how people will react to the show. And I think you're so fantastic in it. Thank you. I'm interested. I'm really interested to see how it goes down. We'll see. Yeah. Um, it was such a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. Pleasure to meet you.